Hi, Mick McQuaid here. I'd like to briefly introduce myself and uh, the course uh, ISTE 798 Informatics for City Sciences. First of all, who I am, I uh, got my PhD in 2003 from the University of Arizona where my dissertation topic was uh, information visualization and its impact on situation awareness. And since then I've taught at, uh, I've, I had a postdoc at Carnegie Mellon and then I taught at uh, Michigan, Oregon, and RIT. And um, let's see, I'm a family man. I have two adorable children. You'll probably get to see pictures of them. Um, and that's really about all I have to say about myself. Uh, as for the course intro, uh, it's a mixture of the theoretical and practical. And it's a mixture of the technical and conceptual. And I want to get your slant on those, those pairings, which I think go well together. Um, and the course can be divided into seven parts. So uh, the first three parts, uh, the Internet of Things, environmental sensing in the city, and uh, big data will occur before we meet face to face, and then we'll meet face to face for the data visualization portion, and then there'll be uh, three other uh, parts after that. Um, the first part, the, the first part, the Internet of Things, uh, is very technical. And the second part, which is environmental sensing, is very conceptual. And so I'd like to get your sense of which serves your needs better, the technical or the conceptual, or a mixture of, of both. Because even though the topics for the course are set, our approach to them is not completely set. And we can go more technical, more conceptual, we can go more theoretical or more practical. Uh, depending on your needs. So share those with me in the first two portions of the, the course and then we can make some course corrections later. Um, and these are big topics so a, a lot of different possibilities uh, exist for the, um, how we what we emphasize in these topics. Um, and speaking of the topics, the syllabus outlines my plan for covering the topics in some detail. And I take the syllabus very seriously, and I hope that you will too. The syllabus is not just a pro forma um, document. It's exactly what I would like to do. So let's take a look at a part of the syllabus right now, which is the learning outcomes section. So that's a very important part of the syllabus that is sometimes overlooked. And it's especially important to us because 60% of your grade is based on essay questions which are taken directly from these learning outcomes. So the first learning outcome is uh, explain the enabling technologies that support the concept of the Internet of Things. The second one is list and describe common environmental sensing and its uses in city management. The third is describe a system of sensors including wearable computing and the value that such a system could provide. Fourth, describe issues associated with big data collection and analysis. Fifth, and this one is a little bit different, use visualization tool, data visualization tools to appropriately display data. And you'll notice that that one's a little different in that the first four ask you about things that you know. This asks you about uh, something that you, do, that you actually do. Um, and then sixth, describe the value of user experience design and provide examples of city-based applications that provide these benefits. And then finally, seventh, identify spatial interdependencies within and across cities at multiple scales. So those are the learning outcomes from the syllabus. Um, there's a schedule of dates in the syllabus, and I'm going to go in a little bit into uh, detail on the, uh, the topics in the syllabus, but, um, but that's all I want to say directly from the syllabus for right now. Um, next, I'd like to say a couple of words about my courses. So my courses is both a uh, tool and a repository, and my courses has all of the readings and, uh, and videos, as you must already know because you're, you're watching this one. <laughs> um, and in addition, it's a t in addition to being a repository, it's a tool, uh, particularly the discussions section uh, of, the, of my courses, which is where I expect you to file your essay question answers. Um, and I expect you to use Dubai as a resource. So for example, Dubai's data classification framework is a good example of a city science uh, resource. Um, 
I expect you to use the web as a resource. Um, there are plenty of websites and, and just Googling is important. Um, I expect you to use YouTube as a resource, so you're obviously watching this on YouTube right now. Uh, and I would like you to tell me about where uh, information technology has appeared in the curriculum so far. So I'd like to know um, uh, what issues have been raised, what issues have been settled in information technology terms in uh, your coursework so far, and what issues remain open. Because I know, I mean, IT touches everything, so you, you, you have to have had some discussion of IT in your previous courses. Okay, and then um, uh, there is some information technology that we can take for granted in a course like this. Uh, but there, is, there are some present contemporary uh, issues um, that we can't take for granted. And let me give you three examples of those. So one example, these are examples from headlines. So here was a, a blazing headline, Smart City Fined for Wi-Fi Blocking. So this was a company in the United States called Smart Cities. That's, you know, actually the name of the company. Uh, and they were fined by the uh, FCC, an agency of the U.S. government, for uh, blocking people's Wi-Fi, and that presents some issues, um, an assortment of, of different kinds of, of technical and, and ethical issues that are relevant to us today. Uh, another one was uh, smart watches are dying because they are worthless. So that's a, a kind of a clickbait headline. Um, it's an, intended to be a, a provocative headline to get you to, uh, to click on it, of course. Um, but there is some uh, underlying importance to it, which is that technologies come and go, technologies rise and fall, and we would like to know the prospects of new technologies, and we would like to have some sort of um, guidance for, uh, for looking at reports about new technologies uh, to see where, where we think they might actually be going, whether indeed... Um, uh, some new technology is, is dying because it's worthless, or if, as is, turns out to be the case, the situation is a lot more complicated than that. And the third one is, the third headline is, Academia Only Studies the Weird. And in this um, uh, headline, there's an acronym, WEIRD, stands for Western Educated, Industrial, Rich, and Democratic. And it turns out that academic studies generally uh, focus only on this 14% of the population of Earth. So a lot of the academic information that I rely on and that, that academics in general rely on is very slanted uh, toward a very narrow segment that uh, doesn't include a lot of people living in smart cities, a lot of people impacted by smart cities. So this is a, a, a potentially important issue. Another um, thing that I'd like to touch on is your capstone. So I'd like you to, you to tell me about your capstone topics, and it would be great if you could uh, integrate your data visualization project into your capstone. So that would be, that would be something very uh, potentially useful to you and extremely interesting to me. So let's talk about that. Now let's talk uh, briefly about the topics of the course. As I mentioned, there, the course can be divided into seven parts. There are seven topics. And um, those topics include three days on the Internet of Things, four days on environmental sensing in the city, five days on big data, six days on data visualization, and two days each on wearables, user experience, and GIS, or geographic information systems. So those are the topics. I'd like to say just a brief sentence or two about each one of them. In the case of the Internet of Things, we have devices and networks and we have also the differences between the Internet as we know it, the Internet of Computers, and the Internet of Things, which involves more networks than, um, than just TCP IP. Um, then we have uh, environmental sensing, and here I've gotten very conceptual and talked about uh, signal and noise, awareness, the concept of information, and the concept of attention. Then uh, next is big data. We have big data technologies and issues surrounding big data technologies. Um, issues surrounding not only their deployment, but issues that you need to know about as managers. 
and we have data visualization. And in this case, uh, it's something that we do rather than just something that we know about. So we have to learn to read data visualizations, and we also have to learn to create data visualizations. Then uh, wearables. Uh, we have technologies and issues in wearables as well. Um, user experience, which is a key issue now, uh, because it, its location in the technology life cycle has historically been very late in, in, in any technology. They sort of magically sprinkle on uh, fairy dust uh, of, of um, user experience near the end, and it doesn't work very well. Um, and so we need to integrate um, an understanding of user experience design into the infrastructure uh, of uh, applications at a much earlier stage. And this is where you come in as city managers. You have to get involved in user experience, um, at a, as I say, at a very early stage. And then finally, GIS. We have to understand a little bit about the capabilities of GIS and also about the limits of GIS. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the, uh, the topics for the course and of this brief introduction to the course. I hope that you'll enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to it very much, and I take this opportunity to welcome you, and thank you for your attention.